Meet the world's longest truck, over 175 feet long, powered by 780 horsepower, and only found in one place on Earth, Australia. While American trucks might haul a single trailer out here in the Australian outback, it's totally normal to see one truck pulling four, five, or even seven trailers at a time. But why does Australia need these massive machines? And what makes them so extreme that most people don't even believe they exist? That's exactly what we're breaking down today. From deadly outback highways, to kangaroo collisions, to trucks carrying more weight than three American semis combined. Stick around, this is gonna blow your mind. Let's start with the basics. Australia isn't just big, it's massive. It's roughly the same size as the United States, but with a population of just 26 million. For comparison, America has over 330 million people. And most Australians, they live on the eastern coast near the beaches and cities like Sydney and Melbourne. What does that leave? Thousands. And I mean thousands of miles of nothing. Just dry, hot, dusty, outback wilderness. And in that wilderness are mines, farms, and tiny towns that need food, fuel, supplies, and equipment. But there are no major railroads to connect everything like you'd find in America. So what's the solution? Road trains. Trucks pulling three, four, even seven trailers at a time. These beasts turn one delivery into the work of three or four trips. It's not about being flashy. It's about survival, efficiency, getting critical supplies across some of the roughest terrain on Earth. And make no mistake, these roads aren't smooth highways like we're used to in North America. These are rough, bumpy, rocky, heat-blasted stretches of land that chew up tires, crack windshields, and test every part of a truck's build. That's why Australia's trucks are built like tanks. So, what makes these trucks different from the ones we're used to seeing on highways in the US or Canada? A typical American semi might pull one trailer, sometimes two, on special routes. But in Australia, a standard road train usually pulls three trailers, stretching nearly 150 feet long. And that's just standard. In remote areas, especially in mining regions, they'll go for six trailers or more. The Guinness World Record for the longest road train ever pulled. It was 1,474 meters long. That's over 4,800 feet or nearly a mile long, pulled by a Kenworth C500 truck. Now don't worry, that was just for show. Regular road trains usually stick with three or four trailers, but it shows you what these machines are capable of. To handle that kind of weight, these trucks don't play around. 780 horsepower engines, reinforced chassis, heavy-duty axles, specialized tires, and powerful braking systems. Plus, no, drivers need special training and licenses just to operate them safely. Looking to the left or looking to me right, in the heat, it's just harder on gear. Everything's running hotter, your tires are running hotter, your bearings are running hotter. Any vehicle can break down. Why doesn't America use road trains? Good question. You'd think with America's wide open spaces, you'd see these monsters everywhere, right? But the thing is, America's road system isn't built for it. In the US and Canada, most major trucking routes pass through busy towns and crowded highways. Imagine pulling four trailers through Chicago traffic. Yeah, good luck with that. Plus, American trucks prioritize comfort. Sleeper cabs in the US feel like mini apartments, Big beds, TVs, microwaves, sometimes even showers. In Australia, comfort takes a backseat to utility. These trucks carry extra fuel tanks, water reserves, spare parts, and emergency supplies. Why? Because if you break down in the outback, help might be hundreds of miles away. And then there's safety. Trying to steer a mile-long truck down American highways packed with cars would be a logistical nightmare. In Australia, many road trains run on dedicated routes designed for heavy loads, far from major cities. It's two different worlds. Let's talk about the people behind the wheel. Being a road train driver isn't just a job, it's a lifestyle. These drivers sometimes spend weeks on the road at a time. Their cabs have a bed, a few shelves, and not much else. Air conditioning if they're lucky. And they need it, because the temperatures regularly hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And if the heat doesn't get you, the kangaroos might, no joke, hitting a full-grown kangaroo at highway speed can destroy a truck's radiator or smash headlights. That's why bull bars, also known as roo bars, are mounted on the front of nearly every road train. Without them, hitting just a few animals could end a trip early. Now, remember how I said they're hauling up to 120 tons? 
Breaking that much weight isn't easy. These trucks can't just slam on the brakes like a car. Drivers have to plan their stops miles in advance, slowing down gently over long stretches to avoid skidding or flipping. With trucks this massive, you better believe Australia has strict laws in place. Drivers are allowed to drive up to 12 hours a day, but they have to take 30 minute breaks every four hours. And yes, just like in America, some drivers stretch the rules to meet tight deadlines. But here's where it gets interesting, and honestly, better than how it's handled in the US. In Australia, if a company pressures a driver to break the law, they can be fined too, not just the driver. It's called chain of responsibility, and it makes everyone accountable for safety on the roads. It's a system that's been praised for reducing reckless driving and making sure companies don't take advantage of drivers who are just trying to earn a paycheck. But even with all these rules, Australia is facing a serious problem. Not enough drivers. The average age of an Australian trucker is in their 50s and younger generations aren't exactly lining up to take their place. Why? Simple, it's hard work, long weeks away from home, harsh conditions, and not much comfort. Some companies have tried hiring overseas drivers, but that's been controversial. Many argue that unfamiliar drivers don't fully understand the dangers of driving through the outback, and sadly, there have been accidents to prove it. Truckers in Australia aren't just driving for a living, they're surviving. Let's compare. American trucks, smooth highways, comfy cabs, thousands of truck stops, endless fast food options, and plenty of places to pull over if something breaks. Australian trucks, rugged, stripped down, more storage for spare parts than for snacks, designed to handle blazing heat, wildlife hazards, and roads with names like the Gun Barrel Highway, which, by the way, isn't even paved in some places. One's built for comfort and efficiency, the other's built for survival. Now here's the question. Would you take the challenge? Would you climb behind the wheel of a 175-foot monster, drive straight into kangaroo country, across blistering desert roads, knowing that if you break down, you might be stranded for days? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But one thing's for sure, Australian road trains are unlike anything else on Earth. They're a symbol of what happens when human grit, engineering, and necessity collide to tame one of the harshest environments on the planet. If you found this story wild, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos on crazy machines, wild vehicles, and unbelievable stories from around the world. Turn on notifications too so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.